now, these ladies are seasoned lightworkers. They know what they're talking about and they put it in a way, and that's why I picked them, because each of these have a wonderful blow of knowledge, expertise rooted in a heartfelt connection. I so honor and blessed by each and every one of them coming on today to really help in helping you to express and know your intuition. So let's bring them on. I cannot wait. Let's bring them on. No more. Oh, wait. We got to drink first. Everybody drink first. Okay. Now we're getting ready. Now we're ready. Now we got to get some technical. There she is. There she is. And then we're going to go over here and we need to go to here. No, that doesn't work. We need to go to here. Oh, what's going on with my tech? Hello, hello. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> hey, ladies. So good to see hello. you. Thank you for being here. You know, I love each and every one of you. Like, unbelievable, right? So what I would like right now is for you to go ahead and give just a, like a 30 second about who you are and maybe how we met because I think everybody would love to know just a little bit more about you. So go ahead, uh, Car Carly, Car <clears throat> Me? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm um, amazing, can you hear me? I can hear you, yes, we got you. Perfect. Beautiful. So I'm Karina Reeves. I'm a relationship coach and also an energy expert. And I met Angel Marie in Arizona with an incredible woman teaching us to shine our light and find our miracle. And we've been connected ever since. And what's so beautiful about being with Angel Marie is just how huge and beautiful your heart is and how much you care and love. And that is why you are serving. That is why you want everyone to know about the magic and amazingness of spirit and intuition. It's such a gift. Thank you, Angel Marie. You are so welcome. And what a beautiful goddess you are, because that's a lot of your platform is the goddess. And I just love that. So thank you. beautiful. So thank you. And to me, uh, Tawan, Tawain, Tawny, Tawny, I, 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 Tawny, <laughs> please go right ahead. Good morning. Well, for, or good afternoon. Hello to everybody. So I met you through our mutual entrepreneurial networks and, and then I think we just kind of hit it off naturally and became friends and started sharing. And I love the energy work. I love working with intuition. And I'm both a life coach, hypnotherapist, Reiki practitioner, and all these other things, mainly to help people get, get in touch with their true authentic self. That's my sweet spot. Thank you so much for being here, Tawny. Appreciate you. Yay. And Teresa, go right ahead. You're next. Hi, I'm Teresa Collins. I'm so happy to be here with these gorgeous goddesses. My goodness, I can already feel the vibe, girls. This is going to be good. <laughs> uh, so I am an EMDR specialist. I am a hypnotherapist, a Reiki master, author, and an educator. And all of that is basically helping transform pain and suffering into love. So that is my main, my main love. I'm an alchemist at core. And uh, Angel and I met, honestly, I think pure spirit connection. I was on another podcast. She was like, hey, I need her. I was like, oh my God, where have you been? My gorgeous girl. We align on so many different levels. And so, yeah, just total soul connect. And I've actually had the pleasure of connecting with uh, Karina as well. So this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even know. So thank you so much for each other for being here. I didn't even know you knew each other. That is such a fun. treat. There it works so well. I love it. <laughs> so let's let's move on. Let's move on to the first question is to you, um, uh, Teresa. We'll go first with you. Is what is spirituality? You get asked that a lot. Like, what is it? Yeah. Um, so I love that you asked this question because it's so defining right now. And uh, there's a lot of people that are really lost. And usually um, they go hand in hand with religion. Uh, what I like to do is bring it back to spirit. So spirituality, in, in my humble opinion, and I'll just share my humble, is uh, the essence of you. 
It's what is what lights your soul on fire? What what ignites your spirit? What nourishes your, your spirit? And so that can be anything. In my business, I have um, an opportunity to work with a Sikh, uh, Buddhist, Catholic, um, atheist even, actually, which is interesting. I'm very science-based. And uh, it's really just what feeds your soul. So spirituality, in my opinion, is that extra piece of you. It's what inspires you, ignites you. It's what helps you feel that you're not alone. It's the support. It's the greater good that's all around you. It could be Mother Earth. It could be Allah. It's really entirely individual, which is actually what I adore about it. Beautiful. I love that. Yes, beautiful. Tawny, go ahead. You go ahead and tell us what your definition and what you're thinking. Okay. First of all, beautiful description. Uh, and to me, spirituality, I think, is a connection to a higher sense of self, a higher purpose, call it source or light, whichever way it, it's accessible, it's open, it's free, and it's available to all of us. And we get to share that equally in our unique ways and our unique gifts. So, and I think spirituality is also, it's a daily practice. It's a daily, pra I like to use the word practice because that implies we're always improving, but it's a daily practice to connect, to enhance, to grow. And so where spirituality for me may have been many years ago is in a very different place now. Be beautiful, beautiful, Tony. Thank you so much for that. And go ahead, Carlene. Oh, amazing. Yeah, those are both so beautiful. I'm just thinking, how can I add on to that? So I, I often think of spirituality as life force. And what I'm loving, you know, Teresa's saying it's not about religion. It's not about the how and and Tani, thank you so much for saying it's about you know your practice, your connection. And my only add-on would be that it can be what you want it to be for you. So if anyone is trying to, it has to be this or it has to be that, it is your fullest expression, it is your freedom to be in the world, it is you connecting to the life force that is creating your life. You are creating your life. And that life force that comes through you to me is the spirit spirit that is connecting your life to living in this world. That's how I like to think about it. Fabulous. Fabulous. I love the golden nuggets. So that will help you viewers maybe step in a little bit more into understanding spirituality. The only thing that I would add to that is it's an individual thing. There's no box as a lot of religions. It is your connection to your divine, whatever you label that to be. And in that way, then you have the diverse aspect of being able to do the crystals, do the shining wheel, do the Tai Chi, do, and you have so much more. So thank you for that. Teresa, I'm going to ask you if you could answer this one is define intuition. Define it for us. <sighs> I actually feel like I'm cheating because I get to go first. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> So intuition for me, again, I'm going to bring it back to the, the human. So we are all born with intuition. When we are born, we know when we're hungry, we're tired, when we have to sleep. We intuitively know who mom is. We intuitively know who dad is. Uh, we know what we need. We're born with it. Unfortunately, then the world starts providing us with what we need and we start to rely on the world and it gets a little lost, right? We get being told, no, you're not hungry. You just ate. No, I know you're tired, but go to school anyways. So um, that intuition, right? <laughs> so it's kind of a lost wisdom and it's something that we all have deep in our core. Uh, could we explain it? Yes and no, but it's more of just a feeling of knowing. And often it comes up when we don't listen to it. It's really, really strong, right? I knew I was supposed to do that. And I got my butt kicked because I didn't listen to intuition. Mm -hmm. So it's a funny thing. And we know we have it the most when we actually don't follow it. Beautiful, beautiful. I love that. Beautiful. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. So whoops, I put the wrong one. Sorry about that. Um, so Carlene, can you answer that? Yeah, sure. Um, the simplest in my mind is intuition is spirit talking to you. And one of the close, one of the, one of the things that my clients keep saying is I'm having a feeling 
And I'm pretty sure it's my intuition, but I'm not sure if it's telling me to do something or to not do something. Can anyone else relate to that? It's like, I'm having a feeling, but I don't know what it means. And that in my mind is the practice. So intuition is spirit talking to you and then learning how to interpret, trust, be, and follow your intuition is the practice and the game that we get to, to explore our whole lives. Beautiful, thank you for that. Tony, go right ahead. Sure. I mean, it's hard to top both of those descriptions, but I would say also in addition, you know, intuition, we have to invite it into our lives. Mm. It's really important to bring it in. It, it's always there. It's present. And so we have to invite that in like you're inviting in your higher self. And second, to actually work on the stuff in our lives, like was mentioned earlier, to clean up that stuff that's blocking us from having access to that. And as well, intuition, it's always kind, it's always gentle. Sometimes it may be a little forceful when it needs to be, like at those moments where we're not listening to it. It's like the ego kicks in, it's oh no. Then it makes it makes a really big grand entrance, right? And that's the time. It's I think the other thing that intuition, intuition lets us do is it lets us take inspired action our inspired action. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you so much. The only thing that I would add to that is that when we have that intuition, and this just happened to me last week where I I felt something, right? Feel it. And then I was like, okay, is that is that something you want me to do? And I'm asking, do you want, and I'm like, wait, they just told you to do it. Why are you asking if that's what they want you to do? And I'm like, I don't feel out about that because I use my body and teach dowsing and knowing where to go. So if this is resonating with you viewers, please put a number one in, share this out because this is good golden nuggets from amazing ladies here that are helping us to really step into our intuition and understand the spirituality. And what I like to ask now, Carly, what I like to ask is when you ignite your brain at the beginning of the day, does it help you in your spirituality? Because I know you have a practice where you go and ignite your brain every morning. Could you tell us a little bit about that? I, you know, the word ignite is really interesting. I find that I have to actually calm down my, personally, for me, I have to calm my brain. I have to open my brain in order to receive the ignite or the fuel or the fire or the downloads, however you want to word it. So for me, having focus exercises, having a space where I practice spaciousness, where I practice being in the calm, that actually lets my fire and my fuel come through. Oh, beautiful. And can you tell what is your practice that you do in the morning? Yes. So I, I always start with something warm in my hands. I like to just feel my body, feel the warm li liquid, let myself rehydrate, which you're a fan of too. And then I have specific energy flow practices through my body that I practice focusing on. So our, 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 our attention spans are getting shorter and shorter. And so the mission of this practice is I'm following. So my favorite, one of my favorite ones is I'm following an, like an energy ball from my feet to the top of my head with my in breath, and then my head back to the bottom of my feet with my out breath. And my only job is to follow that ball with as much focus as I can. And if I get distracted, no problem. I just come back. And that allowance of just doing that one focus at a time lets my brain like click into place. And I then become presence. I become presence. And in that presence, then spirit, intuition, energy, ignition can all come through. Beautiful, beautiful. And I, that's a writer downer, viewers. Come on. That's something that you want to start to, to, to do. And I'm not going to say try to do. Uh, just do it. Right? <laughs> that's a gold nugget. And that's what we're here to give you, right? Tawny, if you could tell us, please, is what, what uh, do, you, do you have a practice, a spiritual practice that helps you to develop your intuition that you do every day? 
Uh, yes, I do two things. One, I am a practicing Buddhist, so I chant, and that is something that I always connect to. And it's a, been a huge part of my life for a long time. As well, I add other exercises. And I think what was, to me, I, I'm just making an interpretation of what was just shared. I think grounding is so important, you know, because there's so many things that take us away from that. So to start the day in some sort of grounding exercise so that when we are connected, everything aligns up. And if I'm not connected, I, I my other emotions will take me to a place that, that bring me away from where I want to be. So I think grounding first thing in the morning and then starting to plan the day or do those things or even continue with a more energized practice. But I think grounding is essential. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for that. Card Card why can't I say your name today? I know you. What is the, oh, drink everybody. Please say your name. Okay. So, do you mean me? I already yeah. went. Do you want Teresa? Oh, Teresa, thank you. <laughs> Teresa, go right in. <laughs> I'm like, do I get skipped over? Thanks, Karina. <laughs> Karina, Karina, Karina. That's <laughs> Karina, Karina. I have a specific question for you, though. Okay. What is EMDR and how does it relate to the spirituality and the intuition? Because I know you do that. Could you explain to the viewers? Yeah, so EMDR is actually eye movement desensitization and reprocessing. This is not traditionally an intuitive and a spiritual practice. Um, so what I did is I actually brought in an advanced version in my practice. So it's initially just works on both sides of your brain and it helps people process trauma. So um, it actually uses the eye movements going back left and right, and it brings up trauma in a different way to desensitize you to it. So the spirituality and intuition I add to it, obviously, as we're going through it intuitively, I pull on what do we need to go? Where do we need to go next? So I, I, I'm a little bit more of a leader. Um, and then with spirituality, I actually bring back soul pieces for people. So um, a lot mm -hmm. of times in trauma, people have lost soul pieces, and this is... So they do these therapies and it's amazing, but then they're left with this emptiness. Mm -hmm. And the next part in the missing pieces is, is filling it. So I fill it up with the soul pieces. I fill it up with the light, the joy, uh, and the spirit to become whole with their soul. Fabulous. Thank you so much for that. Because when I saw that, I was like, oh, I got to ask her how she's doing that. <laughs> it is helping you step into your energy field, your intuition. And thank you for responding. People are responding and saying how wonderful this is. And they're learning so much. It's a writer down or that's for darn sure. So what I'd like to ask now, Carlina. Car Karina. 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 <laughs> she's not in. And I'm not better because you forgot her. <laughs> Karina is that she's out of uh, Canada. And I'd like you to answer what gets you to get out of bed. What is your, what gets you to get going to actually move? Oh my gosh. I'm literally just so excited about my life. I'm actually not in Canada right now. I'm in Ibiza, Spain. It is. Oh wow, beautiful. I manifested this trip in like less than two weeks. I manifested meeting the woman who invited me. She's having a retreat. I manifested the money. And when you start to have this like, flow of magic in your life like literally i have mornings where i just feel like it's christmas like i just i have the most incredible relationship things are growing things are building i'm meeting wonderful people that i'm i'm building new things with i'm doing things like coming on tv with angel marie and it's just it's the connections it's the people that i get to share things with it's the the relationships I'm building and that I have and starting with myself. It's just it just feels like the most exquisite gift of all to be able to wake up in a body in this lifetime to have and to see what adventure is next. It's just extraordinary. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. And uh, Tawny, if you could go next now, we need to shorten a little bit more of our responses to getting close. So go right ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, 
beautiful journey. Um, I think for myself, what gets me going in the morning is just knowing the impact my life can have on other people. And sometimes that could be professionally, sometimes it's just being present. Sometimes it's just like, like you're saying, networking and connections. But what makes me go right now professionally is just to realize with all the things that, that I've learned and what I can do, the most amazing thing is getting something back from somebody I've worked with and hearing their transformation and hearing what they've overcome and hearing what they've been able to get past. And when you have intuition, their ideas are greater than what I can even imagine for them. Beautiful, beautiful, thank you for that. Teresa, you go next, please. We'll get you out of bed. What's your why, sister? So before I get out of bed, I actually spend time in wonder and curiosity. So I'll sit there and say to Spirit, I wonder how you're going to surprise me today. I wonder how you're going to wow me. I wonder what connections I'm going to meet. I wonder, I wonder. So I spend a lot of time in wonder and um, start my day with this uh, beautiful curiosity. And for me, this works because then I'm, I'm wowed. And at the end of the day, I go, holy crap, I didn't even know you're going to do that. That was exciting. So then the next day, it's like, oh, I wonder how they're going to step it up. So that that's personally how I like to get out of bed. That's beautiful. And you know, I start my day with your book. With oh, your book. I love your book. <laughs> Honestly, this is legit amazing, guys. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. And this is a wonderful way to start your day is by writing. And that's something that I do. And what inspires me to get out of bed is that I want to go for my walk. I want to get going and get moving. And that to me. So thank you for all your responses. And now we're up to the point is that a couple of you have the free gifts. So, oh, we lost her. Oh, she's back. Um, <laughs> Carney, Carney. So what we're going to do is go to Teresa first. And if you could tell us about your free gift. So my free gift is a card. I love cards. I'm a full channel and I don't need them, but I love them. I love they're tangible. We can hold them. We can see exactly, uh, what spirit pinpoints for you today. Um, so I'm going to give a free card to absolutely everybody who sees this video, um, uh, from now until the end of time. So there's a link. If you can find it, then you can get it. And I do want to say, Teresa gave me a, when I um, had a one-on-one -on -one with her to get to know her more, she gave me a quick little read and it hit me spot on and it actually changed a lot in my life. And remember, it's about the reader. It's not necessarily about the cards. It's about how you resonate with the person. So thank you for giving so much and to serve, to be here, to do in your time. So I appreciate it very much. You're very welcome. And Cardi, a cart. Karina. 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 Yes. Karina. Yes. Karina, if you could please go next and tell what is your free gift you're giving out today? I'm going nuts. It's incredible. No, just kidding. Well, it is, it is, it's, it's, you know, it's called the fear to freedom technique. And um, it's at everydaygoddess.love. So the address is everydaygoddess.love. And you could have love now instead of .com, which I thought was super fun. And um, and what I want, what I want people to have is that sense of freedom. You are creating your life. And we love to point fingers what everybody else should be doing. But when you can put down your fears, you can then start stepping into your freedom. And once you sign up and you get. Oh, I think she's frozen. I so sign up now, guys. Me. She's waiting for you. <laughs> oh, am I not? Sign up now. Then, oh, I'm back. And if you if you sign up and you get it, you'll have my email, and it'd be my absolute pleasure to give you an energy reading to see what's going on for you right now and your next best steps. Absolute pleasure. Oh, and I've had an energy reading with her before. It was really fabulous. So I'm putting that in here and I'll put more. And um, thank you to Tammy and to Linda and Shelly and everybody. I cannot even name everybody that's coming on that's like, because this is really some really great golden nuggets that you've given to everyone. And I appreciate you very much. So right now, right here, if we could just take 30 seconds and say bye to the viewers. Can I say one thing? Sure. I just want to say, Angel, I don't know if your viewers know how accessible you really are. 
Uh, you are absolutely this guiding light that shows up on TV. But if they don't know, they can actually get a personal healing from you. Uh, we're missing out because I got to tell you, you're gorgeous, you're amazing, and your sessions are absolutely incredible. And if anybody's watching it and they don't realize how really accessible and real and um, this gift that you're able to provide right now, even with how busy you are, it's an incredible opportunity. So anybody watching, maybe you can drop a little bit of how they can get a hold of you because maybe they just don't know that you are really accessible and personable and somebody they can actually invite into their life. Oh, thank, thank, thank you for being that. I, it's such an honor to be on your show. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that so much, so much. It's just so powerful. And thank you. Um, oh, wow. Um, uh, Cardine. Karina. Karina. <laughs> Karina, if you could go ahead. I'm just so grateful to be here and all of the people who have tuned in. This is Source talking to you. Angel Marie is talking to you. Your intuition is talking to you. You're here for a reason. And take that, take that wonder, take that curiosity, take that, I wonder if this is for me. And just take that next step. Take that, reach out to Angel Marie. Get that free connection. She loves you. And go for it. What if you stop asking, what if it's for me? And start asking, what would I like to do for me next? Fabulous. Thank you so much, Carlina. <sighs> and Tani, go right ahead. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> how do I top all of that? So I just think, thank you so much, Angel Marie. Thank you for being a friend. I'm on intuition. 20, April 22, 22, I moved from Phoenix. I mean, moved from Los Angeles to Phoenix, Arizona, and was able to buy a dream home, which I could have imagined three years ago. So what I would say is sometimes when you're presented with that opportunity, turn off up here, whatever, however you can do. If it feels connected, it feels right. Just take that step forward into where you're supposed to be and you'll never regret it. Yes. Oh, beautiful, so. beautiful. So thank you all for being here. I so appreciate and love each and other one. I've seen so many people with your service. Especially right now, we're so needed, aren't we, right now? We really are as light workers to really see the divine in every single person, and it's powerful. So let's let's say goodbye to these amazing ladies with the Shine On song. You know my Shine On song. You know it, so we'll sing out just a little bit of it. Sing it out. Kind of move, you know how you vote. Ask for what you want. Show them what you got. Take it to the top. Don't you ever stop. Stop. Shine. Shine. Shine on. Raise your vibration. Shine. Shine. Shine on. Looking for the answers. Seeking you will find. Open up your heart. Leave it all behind. Smile and laugh. Always give back. Glowing like a star, show them who you are. Shine. Thank shine, you all for being here. Shine on. Bye, ladies. Thank Raise you so your much. vibration. Thank shine. You.